Hey, hey, niache wase. I was one good from Joe. Kama kawa jeshi ya Shengtok. Jeshi ya Shengtok mara ingine au sio. Joe jina hapa ni Charles. Hivi Joe jina ni Bwana Gishuru. Eh Joe na hii ni Shengtok matatu edition. Eh Joe. Eh kwa hivyo tutakuwa tu tunaku bring the best Joe Aha. kwa ma streets za naye au sio. Na round hii Joe matatu edition Joe tume link up Joe na mangro wetu wa power eh, Afro political mjamao sio. Eh Joe tutakuwa tunataka kujua sio story ya siasa na mm. mati zinapatana wapi au sio. Kangjo tuko out here Joe to get get maoni za waseka dha. Kwa hivyo keep it locked mzito. Kang -kang. Ini shengra. Mango was a shooter with no more figure. From man a blick with a close girl still a fi ask me. Wa make your clean so. Girl a busy. Wa make your clean so. Fly green smoke a flow through the window. Ngaje ngaje wa semi na itwa Aziza ama ukipenda unaweza niita Shiro na leo ndani ya Bila Bong matkali ya umoina tuko na wasema studio kutoka different universities na watatu ambao vile wanadai kusu story ya current affairs recently Kenya imekuwa the first country to nullify elections in Africa watu ambao venye wanadai kusu hii story nitarushia hapa best yangu mkali anaitwa Aleki tuambie vile unadai kusu hii story ah uh, mimi kwa majina wa sio nita Aleki lakini mimi upenda kuitwa Kashif mi niko UN uh, kulingana na East Africa mimi venye mimi nacheki azim hii kuna lifa elections kuna venye imesaidia na kuna, pia kuna venye imetupia kwa ngori ukicheki kuna lifa elections kitu moja ilisaidia ni maybe tunaweza sema it was a wise decision but not the best decision so kuna lifa elections maybe tuseme ili prevent wase kupigana lakini bado hata tunacheki bado wase wako na ile mania za kupigana nini na pia unacheki kuna lifa hiyo elections pia Sema it was not a good decision because bado watu wa metens, mabiz zinaenda down. Now, uh, for example, na ishi place mbali, unawada vitu zako kutoka tao, ama inje, unambia mse ni aji, ile vitu ni aji, anakuambia we tulia, bado kuja tulia. Wati ki bado imetutia pango, pangori kibiz. Ya wase wako na zile tension za mse kufungua shop yake, ya nasema leo ni kufungua shop, alafu vita itambe, ama kanuke. Wati ki pia hapo na biz zinaenda down. Uh, maybe tu ni chore hiyo naweza sema zote lakini maybe nitakuwa nime kazi ya wasi kusema vitu zenye wako nazo so maybe turushie wengine nao tusikie kenye wanadai alafu su, juu saa tunaongelea staff ya elections sasa vile wame move elections wame sema ni 17th October alafu unacheki kuna tension kiasi kusu the actual date ya election wawu naona nika inaweza kuaffect wewe ama maisha yako kaa youth wawu kuchange election na kuifanya tena mara ya piki uh, shukran sana kwa kunupia ina fasi uh, first mina itua Roima but kwa vile wamesema wanataka ku move election kutoa nini date 17 pia kuna venye naweza affect kama sasa unaweza kutamtu kama mimi nafanya biashara mbalimbali naweza cost kuni cost pia juna ofia kwenda sehemu zingine sababu ya nini kuna kuwa na tension kidogo sasa hiyo mambo ya move move around na kutafuta staff zangu pia ita ni cost ki biashara alafu kibushia mike mwenye ako next ya, ako kando yako anaweza kutuambia ulisha vote vile ilifika the, recent, the previous election, ulienda uka vote sindio? Na sayi uko na ilo ile yyo sayi kulikuwa nayo ya kwenda kuvote tena kama vile ulikuwa nayo the previous time unaweza enda uwa mke five as ubuido uvote ya the same person, sayi kiko? Uh, sayi kakuna ya kwenda kuvote tena juna ufia eh, kama sayi mtaani watu wa metengana sika kitambo vile tulikuwa sasa watu wajalio wamejeka kando, wasapere kando, kila mtu ana ofia mwingine. Alafu pia mafutbola wengi sasa hii, mtaani kabla unacheza ball, hakuna kwenda places to places, tuna ofia ali zetu, tutakuwa mbaya. Yaani siezi Okay, and today we also have our political strategist, Mr. Marvin Tumo. And Mr. Marvin, I want you to tell me um, about the nullification of the election. Do you think that moving it to 17th October is the right thing to do? And will we actually have an election in the first place? 17th is the only thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the dates might change. I don't think they will change. I don't think they should change. Mm -hmm. We need to get done with this. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, a, it's a constitutional issue. Mm -hmm. Once you nullify an election, the election must be held within 60 days. Mm -hmm. And for us, uh, luckily, everybody you ask, you want it sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we must have the election. There are no two ways about it. 
Okay, yeah. you said that we must have the election. Yeah. We have two parties involved in this election. Yes. And so the NASA side had said that they will not take part in the election if their demands are not met. Do you think that is the right thing to do? And do they have the interest of Kenyans at heart by actually putting that statement up front? Um, it is a political statement. Uh, I think uh, from everything you've seen to date, uh, they have not been ready for elections. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and which is why all of these, all of these are just delaying tactics mm -hmm. uh, for something which is inevitable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a, it's a political process mm -hmm. uh, for them. It's a political decision. Yes, and uh, it's well calculated uh, to try. And I think in in my in my in, in my thinking, I think uh, they want uh, some sort of constitutional crisis that will uh, essentially create a caretaker government. And mm -hmm. that's the only way they think they can form government. Okay, maybe just a final question to wrap this up. You have talked about a caretaker government. Do you think Kenya will go the Nusumkata way with the way NASA, the NASA side is taking their demands? No. It, elections will happen yeah mm -hmm. they might choose not to participate but mm -hmm. guys will go out and vote mm -hmm. and uh, based on that a winner will be declared so okay. I think it's just it's just a noise uh, it's political noise to okay. be honest and uh, elections will happen uh, consider what the Supreme Court said even in the in the ruling that they provided the more uh, reasoned ruling they provided yesterday mm -hmm. um, they insisted that uh, IBC will conduct the elections. Mm -hmm. They said there was no criminal negligence on the part of IBC, mm -hmm. which means also the NASA's claims mm -hmm. that uh, that uh, they cannot work with the with the IBC as currently constituted mm -hmm. has been uh, nullified by the same Supreme Court. They were anchoring that uh, opinion on. As far I think, uh, when you look at what the Supreme Court has done. Um, a lot is going to be written over the next uh, few weeks and few months to try and uh, break down the key aspects of the ruling and uh, in as much as uh, people said that this was a ground uh, breaking ruling i think uh, the devil is in the detail and because now we have uh, we have the entire ruling to scrutinize i think uh, we will see whether whether there was any wisdom in the nullification because uh, also the dissenting judges had quite a lot to say mm -hmm. and now the people will be able to judge this on the merits of the reasoned uh, arguments provided yesterday. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is my stop. Okay. I think... Uh, <laughs> till later. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're glad you were here. I'm happy to.